just 10 days after scripting history by landing near the South Pole of the Moon. The Indian Space Research Organization is set to launch its spacecraft to study the Sun. Aditya L1 will be launched on September 2 at 11.50 a.m. from Sri Harikota. The spacecraft will travel 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth to the Lagrange 1, also known as the L1 point, between the Earth and the Sun. This distance is roughly four times that traveled by the Chandrayaan missions. But just 1% of the 150 million kilometers between the Earth and the Sun. The Aditya L1 mission will see the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, carry the 1,475 kg spacecraft to an elliptical orbit around the Earth. The spacecraft, which will carry seven scientific payloads, is more than twice as light as the one to the Moon. Like the Chandrayaan-3 mission, the orbit and velocity of the spacecraft around the Earth will be increased till it is slingshot towards the Sun. The distance to L1 point will roughly take four months. Following that, the spacecraft will be inserted into a halo orbit around the L1 point. It will then collect data for the next five years. There are five Lagrange points, L1 to L5, between any two celestial bodies. These points can act as parking spots in space where the gravitational pull of the celestial objects equal the centripetal force required to keep a satellite in orbit. This means that satellites placed at Lagrange points do not require a lot of fuel to remain in position. First, getting to Lagrange 1 places a spacecraft at a point beyond the moon between the Earth and the Sun. This provides the spacecraft with an unobstructed view of the Sun, even during events like eclipses. Second, with the mission covering only 1% of the distance between the Earth and the Sun, the payloads will be able to look directly at the Sun. Primary goal of the mission is to gain a better knowledge of the star closest to us and how its radiation, heat, flow of particles, and magnetic fields affect us. The payloads on the mission will study the upper atmospheric layers of the Sun, called chromosphere and corona. They will study the expulsion of plasma and magnetic fields called coronal mass ejection. The magnetic fields of the corona as well as the drivers of the space weather will also be studied. Because the sun is the nearest star to us, it can be studied in much greater detail than others. Studying the sun can also help us learn more about other stars. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's about to land his dream job. Business Standard